hello everyone today i want to show you how to solve this problem for the values of c if we have c to the power of 6 plus 64 is equals to 0 and we solve this problem for all the values of 6 because uh, here you have this is the sixth order equation so we find all the six roots of this equation so now here first uh, we rewrite this equation as uh, so you see here uh, first we break the exponent of c and we write this 6 as 2 times of 3 and plus this is 64 and we write it as 4 cubed and this whole equation equals to 0. And now here in the next step uh, we use here the exponent law and uh, you know about this law so according to the exponent law we move uh, this square term inside uh, the term and it will be written as c square and its whole cubed plus this is 4 cubed and this whole equation equals to 0 and now here further in the next step we apply here the nice cubic formula you know about this formula if we have a cubed plus b cubed equals to a plus b times of a square minus a b plus b square so according to this uh, rule this formula we can write over above equation as uh, so here uh, according to this formula we write here our above equation as first we have a plus b the base of this term is our a and the base of this term is b so we have first a plus b so a is c square plus b is 4 into again we have a square so the value of a is c square and its whole square minus a b again our a is c square and b is 4 plus b square so b is 4 square and this whole equation equals to 0. And now uh, further in the next step we need more simplifications here we add or subtract the like terms and we have c square plus 4 into here we multiply these two exponents and it will be written as c to the power of 4 minus this is 4 times of c square equals to 4 c square and plus this 4 square equals to 16 and this whole equation equals to 0. So now here in the next step we divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write c square plus 4 equals to 0 so that from first case uh, we move uh, this plus 4 to the right hand side and it will be written as c square is equals to minus 4 and here we solve this problem for the values of c so that here we remove this uh, square sign from left hand side uh, for this we take square root on both of the sides uh, so that when we take square root it will be written as in this form so you see here this 2 and this square root are gone and we get here c is equals to plus minus here we uh, separate this square root on both of these terms and we can apply square root on 4 and square root on minus 1 uh, and we will obtain here c is equals to plus minus uh, square root of 4 is equals to 2 and square root of minus 1 equals to iota so these are the uh, first two complex roots of the given equation uh, and now here for other roots uh, we solve the second case and in second case uh, we uh, first write this case is equals to 0 and we have c to the power of 4 minus 4 c square plus 16 equals to 0 and now here uh, we rewrite this equation as we can write the c to the power of 4 as c square and its whole square minus this is 4 times of c square and plus 16 equals to 0 and now uh, here uh, we will take uh, this uh, c square is equals to y when we take c square equals to y our above equation is written as y square minus 4 times of y plus 16 equals to 0 so this equation will become quadratic equation in y variable so we apply here the quadratic formula to solve this equation so first we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are 
a equals to 1, b equals to minus 4 and c is equals to 16 and we state the quadratic formula as y equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a. So this is the our quadratic formula and now we substitute the values of a, b and c here. So it will be written as y is equals to this is minus b. The value of b is minus 4. When we put it here it will become minus times of minus becomes plus 4 and plus minus square root of b square. b is minus 4 and minus 4 square equals to 16. Minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 16 and it is divided by 2 times of a so here our a is equals to 1 and now in the next step we have y is equals to 4 plus minus square root of here we take common 16 and we get the remaining values are 1 minus 4 and it is divided by 2 times of 1 is equals to 2 so here uh, when we can apply the square root on both of these values it will be written as 4 plus minus square root of 16 equals to 4 and this is 1 minus 4 and 1 minus 4 equals to uh, square root of minus 3 and it is divided by 2. And now here in the next step we break this fraction and it will be written as y is equals to 4 over 2 plus minus 4 times of a square root of 3 here we can apply square root on both of these values first we can write square root of 3 and square root of minus 1 and it is divided by 2 and now here in the next step we have y is equals to this is 2 times of 2 becomes 4 we get 2 plus minus this is also cancelled out by each other and we get 2 times of 2 is 4 and we get here 2 times of square root of 3 into here we have square root of minus 1 equals to iota. So these are the other two complex roots of the given equation. Uh, and now here uh, we back substitute the value of y. Uh, so we will take here our y is equals to c square. So when you put this value here it will be written as. When we back substitute the value of y it will be written as c square is equals to 2 plus minus 2 times of square root of 3 into iota and because we solve this problem for the values of c so that uh, in order to remove this c square we will take square root on both of the sides. Uh, so first we break these values and here first we write the positive value it is 2 plus 2 times of square root of 3 into iota and here we write the negative value it is c square equals to 2 minus 2 times of square root of 3 into iota so in order to find the values of c we will take square root on both of the sides in this form uh, in order to find the other values of c okay so you see here this 2 and this square root are gone so we get here c is equals to plus minus square root of 2 plus 2 times of square root of 3 into iota. These are the other two complex roots of the given equation and similarly in that case we have this 2 and this square root are gone and we get here c is equals to plus minus square root of 2 minus 2 times of square root of 3 into iota. So these are the other two complex roots of the given equation. So we have uh, the total uh, six roots of the given equation are these are the four complex roots and these are the other two complex roots of the given equation. So these are the six complex roots of the given equation. And this is the final answer. And thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.